that. Thank you, Chairman. Bacchi subdues, which is an indigenous bacterium found mostly in soy and plants, has been used in Japan to produce traditional fermented foods such as natto. Bacchi subdues do not usually cohabit in animals, just it forms spores composed of hard core under the harsh conditions such as gastrointestinal environment in animals to keep the stability. In the comfortable environment, the spores germinate immediately to grow. In our long-term researches so far, we have succeeded to establish a strain of Bacchus subtils named C3102 and investigated the characteristics for its application in multiple fields, including livestock production. Beneficial bacterium that are capable of improving microbial environment in hosts have been extensively used in humans and animals as probiotics. In our long-term studies, we have utilized Bacil Subtil C3102 as a possible probiotics. As illustrated in this slide, we have demonstrated that orally administered Bacil Subtil C3102 reaches large intestine while keeping intact spores formation, mostly without germination. Only 8% of the spores germinate in large intestine, but the germinated cells do not cohabit in host, thus just pass through the intestinal tract. In the presence of spores or germinated cells, the numbers of beneficial bacterium, such as bifidobacterium, increase while the numbers of pathogenic bacterium, such as Clostridium, decrease the large intestine. We have not yet confirmed the molecular mechanisms by which the commensal microflora is changed in the presence of Bacillus subtil C3102, but it could be useful as an appropriate probiotics in animals. Bacillus subtil C3102 for both livestock and poultry has been commercially available. For female pigs during lactation, oral feeding with Bacillus subtil C3102 is effective in inhibition of body weight loss. It also contributes to increase the body weight of the pups. The microbial environment of pigs is changed by feeding with Bacillus subtil C3102 because the numbers of undesired bacterium, such as E. coli and Clostridium, decrease, whereas the numbers of beneficial bacterium, such as Lactobacillus, increase in feces. Similar effects can be observed if chickens or cows are given with Bacillus subtil C3102. In this study, we further investigated the effect of feeding with Bacillus subtil C3102 on lactation and its related functional disorder in the other of dairy cattle from the viewpoint of nutrition and immunology. In this experiment, daily cattle were fed with Bacillus subtil C3102 twice a day for 11 months from one month before to 10 months after partition. Monitoring the nutritional and immunological conditions of daily cattle used Blood and milk samples were collected once a month as shown in this experimental schedule and subjected to plasma, flow cytometry, and chemotaxis analysis. The numbers of onset of clinical mastitis 
and they, when the cattle were treated with antibiotics because of mastitis, or when milk should not be shipped because of antibiotics, contamination was recorded. The somatic cell counts in milk was also determined. What we saw first in this study was that the concentration of stress indicators, such as cortisol and t in plasma decreased throughout the experiment when dairy cattle were fed with Pachyosabutyl C3102. These graphs show you the concentrations of two stress indicators. White circle means control group, and black circles show Bachelor Subtils feeding group. The results indicate that the use of Bachelor Subtils C3102 could be effective in the reduction of stress level in dairy cattle during lactation. We next measured the component of nutritional status, such as glucose and plasma urea nitrogen, nepha, and cholesterol in plasma. In usual, the level of cholesterol in plasma increases immediately after partition because of a decline in metabolic functions in liver and recovered gradually after a while. Interestingly, among the nutritional factors investiga investigated, the alteration of cholesterol level was different between two groups. The elevation of plasma cholesterol level after partition was not dramatic when Bachelor Subtil C3102 was used as a feed additive. Specifically, the elevation of cholesterol was not so significant when compared with control. These results indicate that oral feeding with Bachelor Subtil C3102 could be useful to maintain the nutritional balance, especially after partition. When we next checked the clinical condition of daily cattle used in this study, most importantly, we found that both the number of onset of clinical mastitis and the number of medication days with antibiotics decreased when daily cattle were fed with Pachyosabtil C3102. The periods when the milk must be discarded because of contamination of antibiotics were also short in daily cattle supplemented with Pachyosabtil C3102. Consistent with the clinical findings, the number of somatic cell counts were also low in daily cattle with, uh, with feed, uh, daily cattle fed with Bachelor Subtil C3102. Specifically, we counted cell numbers in milk for 100 days and obtained the averages every 25 days to compare the effect of oral feeding with Bachelor Subtil C3102 on the onset of mastitis. The result clearly indicates that oral feeding with Bachelor Subtil C3102 is effective in the inhibition of inflammatory responses in the other of dairy cattle. Understanding the molecular mechanisms by which oral feeding with Bachelor Subtil C3102 prevents the onset of mastitis, we next investigated the immune cell subsets in peripheral blood by flow cytometry. When we checked the frequencies of granulocytes, monocytes, and T cells and B cells, 
the percentages of all sales subsets were not changed dramatically by the use of battery sub tier C3102. Thus, our next study was focused on the initial stages of information in the other. Since we have shown so far that the concentration of cyclofilin A, which has been known as an inflammatory mediator, increases dramatically in milk when dairy cattle cause mastitis. We have also shown that cyclofilin A possesses a chemotactic activity to recruit inflammatory cells such as granulocytes into the other infected by pathogens. Since the responsiveness of inflammatory cells to cyclofilin A can be easily monitored by using an in vitro chemotactic analysis with immune cells put, uh, put in the upper chamber and cyclofilin A added in the lower chamber, we compared the reactivity of granulocyte to cyclofilin A between two groups. Surprisingly, responsiveness of granulocytes to cyclofilin A decreased significantly by oral feeding with bacillus subtilis C3102. These results suggest that oral feeding with bacillus subtilis C3102 might regulate the undesired chronic inflammation by reducing the responsiveness of granulocytes to cyclofilin A that is chronically expressed in the infect other. In conclusion, our results indicate that oral feeding of daily cattle with Bacillus subtilis C3102 as a probiotics is effective in not only improving feed requirements but also controlling the prolonged chronic inflammation in the other by regulating the responsiveness of peripheral granulocytes to inflammatory mediators expressed in the other, such as cyclofilin A. Thank you for your kind attention. <laughs>